to see the technology actually start in a lab and make it to a point where actually affecting somebody, it's pretty powerful. I never knew that bionic technology existed to a point where it was going to be used this soon in my life. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology that I'm looking at right now? I mean, this thing is walking on its own. This is EXO. We like to think of it as a wearable robot. Okay. And it's been designed to help people with spinal cord injuries actually stand up and walk. So is there any way that I could actually test out the technology? So we always start with a walker. It gives us the most stability. Okay. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is clearly stand up. The robot's going to do all of the work for you for your legs. Okay. So your knees and your hips are going to be taken care of. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow, that's such a weird sensation. It feels like it weighs nothing. Exactly. All the weight of the exo goes down around on the side of your body all the way to the ground, so you don't feel anything. If I'm a spinal cord injury patient today and I have completely no control of my lower legs, the exoskeleton is a great tool for helping them walk through wow. a specified gait pattern. You're walking, and as you progress through uh, with the, the walker, then we can graduate to crutches. It's, it's a lot bigger, though, than I expected, too. We like to think of this as the uh, the first suitcase cell phone of the bionic industry. So okay. our goal obviously is to, to, to make it smaller as we as we progress and as we get to that personal device that doesn't need all the adjustability and other features that this has uh, for the rehab environment. We gotta keep pushing the technology for all of our users out there. They're counting on us now to have that next device that's out on the market that they can take home with them. In October 2008, I was in a motorcycle accident. I was involved in a head-on collision on a mountain road with a car. Doctors say I have no chance of walking again. Being a police officer, being in the military, I uh, was always used to, you know, just up and running, you know, always going. And so now I was relearning how to walk and it was taken away from my moment of realizing how tall I was again and, and that I was actually walking, that my knees were bending and I was, you know, I had a heel strike and it was with a robot.